Hello, everybody. So, why is it that the world gets so easily offended when it comes to Jesus, especially at today's time in 2023? But when you ask any questions about Muhammad or whoever else it is that's not of Christ, the world is not offended. How is that possible? How is it that when it comes to Christ, you guys or anybody out there gets offended? But when it comes to, I'm not easily offended. But what I'm offended by is those who can't respond to a simple question and say yes or say no. That is weird. That is strange. That is, I'm not trying to be judgmental, but it is. You're going, I have a reason here. The reason is, I'm offended because you guys can't say yes or no if you believe in Jesus Christ. The reason why, ladies, I ask that question, especially the ladies, because I got into an argument with somebody yesterday online and the messages and DMs about this question. Let me tell you something. You get offended by that, you get offended by Christ. And that is a sin and a shame for you to be against Christ. That shows you right there, guys, that they are offended by Christ. He's not offended by you unless you commit sin and don't repent and don't believe. If you don't believe in him, guys, he's not going to force you to believe. Jesus, Jesus did not have free will because of the Heavenly Father. He couldn't do his own thing. He didn't care. But what he cared about was that he was about the Heavenly Father's business. He was about Jehovah's business. His, his dad from heaven. You can call it whatever you like in the comments. But Jesus is the only man who is the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the end, the first and the last, and the King of all kings, the Lord of all lords, God of all gods. But... He was also a man. He came here to relate to human beings. So that way we have another chance to be we have a chance to be saved. There would have been no chances to be saved if he didn't come to earth and do what he did. With the miracles and raising the dead back to life and casting out demons. He also did say to stay away from demons too. That means also stay away from the sin that they have. Stay away from the darkness. Stay away from the crime. Stay away from the evil and hate and anger. Pain and all this nastiness and sorrow. Stay away from it. Get rid of it. If you have any symbols, anything in your room or whatever that represents the devil, get rid of it. Destroy it. Burn it. Sell it. Whatever. Don't be a part of that. Because the devil will try to ruin you. He hates you. But he loves your sin. God is the opposite. God loved Jehovah. He is the Heavenly Father Jehovah. He loves you and me, but it's the sin that he hates. So you can say, yes, God has hate in his heart, but only because of sin. What do you think he did with a city? He destroyed a whole city on earth back in the biblical times back then because of sin. He told this guy and his family, turn around and leave, but don't look back. His wife turned around, looked back, and she was she was done. God snapped his fingers, and she turned into a pillar of salt. If you read that story in the Bible, you know it's in the book of it's the end of the book of Genesis. God doesn't play around, guys. When God says, Don't turn around and look back at your sin. Do what he says, because he loves you and he cares about you. You can say the opposite. That's up to you. You have free will on earth, and it's not going to last. It's temporary. But heaven and hell is eternal. You have no free will there. You're forced to do things you're not supposed to do. You're, in hell, you're forced to do things you, can't, you don't want to do. But in heaven, you have no free will. But... That makes heaven so much better because I don't care if I have free will or not. I'm going to do what God says. I'm going to do chores. I'm, I'm going to work for free. It doesn't cost anything. I buy a house. I'll get a house in heaven. It doesn't cost anything because Jesus said he would go to prepare a place for us. And he didn't say it doesn't cost anything. There's no money. Like There's money in heaven, but it doesn't cost anything. There's treasure. Treasure in heaven. 
not like the money here on earth, but if you give to those in need on earth, in heaven, you will have treasure. Jesus said that to the rich man. He said that, go, give to the broke, that they should have, and you have treasure in heaven. He told the rich man that. He tried to help out the rich man. The rich man refused to listen. He walked away with his guys. That was it. The rich man and his men literally walked away from Christ face to face. Shame on him. How dare anybody walk away from Christ? He didn't do that to us. What makes us think we should do that to him? I will never walk away from my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. I'll give up everything for him just to be in heaven and glory. And I mean that. And like I said before, I stand by what I say. And if I don't, God will hold me accountable. You won't.